everyone, I am the Moy Chicken, and welcome back to more Kid Icarus. In the last episode, we entered the land of the lovely mint green clouds, and now we're gonna go in here. What does this have to say? Uh, oh, it's a hot spring. Okay. Well, I guess I'll continue to catch you up. So, yeah, in the last episode, we ground for hearts for a really long time, <laughs> and then eventually managed to uh, get through the dungeon, and we beat the boss. It was a good time. And now we are on our way upward through the... I believe this is considered to be the Sky Realm now. Like, the first place was Tartarus. This is the Sky Realm. I don't know why it's still black. That really makes sense to me, considering the whole point of Tartarus being black was that it was underground. Uh, this is not underground, but it's still dark, so I don't know. But, hello, how are you? Um, are you bad? Yes, you're bad. Okay, and you just have, like, friends. These are its friends. Um... But yeah, we, we, are, we are now in the, uh, the third world of the amazing Kid Icarus, and it only continues to get easier. I've got, like, a super bow that fires a long distance. I've got, like, a, a rolling shield. The game gave me full HP right when I started. It's just such a strange thing that this game gets so much easier as you go along, but it really does. Anyway, hopefully that means that uh, we, won't, we won't have any sticking points in the future, but... We'll have to see. Okay, well, there's a star, so maybe the idea is that it's nighttime? <laughs> also, these are really non-aggressive enemies. And don't these things kind of look like the, uh, bubbles from Norfair a little bit? For Metroid? I don't know, it's like... <clears throat> I feel like every game that came out in this time period kind of influenced the other games that were coming out in this same time period. So, maybe that's just me. Maybe- Oh, no, there- I died. Dang it, I'm finished. I'm finished! Start over. Alright, let's do it again. I gotta heal myself up. Oh, yes. Yes, the game is easier, but you can still be stupid and fall in holes. Falling in pits, alas, is not something that Pit has grown immune to. So, got my shield back. Good times. Let's go. Let's go. go, go. But yeah, I, um, I I'm excited because, uh, th you know, th there's not too much more game after this point. Like, the there's the third world. The, the game only has four worlds in total. So, um, you know, as we like, we'll go through this world, and then I believe the fourth world is actually just one stage. It's like a big lead up to fighting Medusa. And so we're really not that far from the end of the game, but we do still have the third dungeon, dungeon to contend with, so we will have to try to make it there. But yeah, I, maybe it's just me, but I feel like a lot of games in this time period kind of felt similar in a lot of ways. Like, you know, I mean, I mentioned Metroid and, and Kid Icarus, both of which are Nintendo games, but even stuff like, um, like the elements that you're seeing, like the colors that are being used, and I know the, the NES only had a certain palette. Uh, yes? Can I just, can I just sit here? Oh, I'm hurting him. I'm, hurt, I'm hurting Goofy. I killed Goofy Death. I did the Belmont thing. Oh no! <laughs> but I can still manage to finish myself. <laughs> I, I may have killed death like a Belmont, but I can still manage to finish myself. They say that the Belmont's true, truest adverse adversary is actually gravity and not death. Anyway, um, I don't remember that. I don't remember that. Oh yeah, like a lot of the, a lot of the colors and a lot of like the designs. I, I, could, I could see stuff from this game showing up in, like, you know, other arcade style games. Maybe it's just that a lot of games had, like, black backgrounds because they wanted to cheat that extra color. Um, but it really sort of feels like, you know, the Nintendo was a, a I guess, a time period when, like, I don't want to say every game looked alike, but there weren't quite as strong of divides between what was considered, uh, what would have been considered a big budget game and a small budget game. Because, like, I feel like during the Super Nintendo era, you started to get more games where the graphics were just kind of, like, not good. Like, there was a bigger divide between the people who could actually make decent pixel art and the people who couldn't. And, um, it showed, you know? Alright, I, I don't want to... Am I, am I hitting you this time? There we go. I'm just gonna kill death again. Just gonna kill death. Just gonna do the Belmont thing. Kill death. I'm not gonna push down this time, because that was stupid. And we're gonna go up here. 
And this one little death snake... Okay, it's done. <laughs> it's done. Um, yeah, so like, at this... Oh no, oh no, what are you doing? Are those the guys that steal from me? I don't wanna- I don't- I don't wanna get stolen from. Go away. I don't wanna lose my stuff. I like having my stuff, it's nice. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, did I lose- Oh, I lost something! Dang it, they are the guys that steal something from you. Fortunately, they didn't steal everything I have, but they did steal my pretty nifty shield. I was enjoying that, that was making life pretty easy. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, I just feel like, um... You know, like, there were a lot of games on the Super Nintendo, for example, that used really basic tiling, uh, techniques, resulting in games that kind of looked very much like they were laid out on, like, a grid of, uh, of, like... I guess paper? <laughs> grid paper? I don't know what I was going for there, but a grid, you know, it's like, it's like, you could really tell it was just a tiled game, so... Nice to have a little bit more variety on this. I win! Yay! See, I'm along with... I'm ready two levels. Oh, we're now in the pink clouds. We're in the pink clouds from Earthbound. Ooh, we must be in Dalam. Must be in Dalam. And there's Goofy Death. Hello, Goofy Death. Alright, um... I don't... I'm guessing that will hurt me. I'm just guessing this block will hurt. Well, what am I supposed to do here? Hang on. Do I have to kill Goofy? Yep, it'll hurt me, but... What do I do about Goofy Death? Do I just kill him? Goofy Death! Wow, Goofy Death is not nearly as dangerous now that I am beefy. Now that I have sweet purple hair, which makes me stronger. Whoa! Whoa! Got that sweet purple hair. Whoa! Whoop. Here we go. I see you up there, Goofy Death. Whoa. Okay. I really don't want to accidentally... No! <laughs> it's like, I really don't want to accidentally drag the screen up. You know, I was, I was saying that the game gets so much easier. <laughs> I mean, this is still easier. All of these problems that I... All of these are problems that I'm kind of bringing upon myself. So, I really can't complain too much about the game for my inability to jump properly and shoot. You know, that's... That's on me as the player. I guess that's, that's the difference between the later levels and the earlier levels, is that in the earlier levels, when you messed up, it didn't feel quite as much like it was your fault, you know? You just kind of felt like you were trying to grapple with a difficult control system, and you failed. In this, though... Can I... I want to I keep... see if I can keep hitting him. Alright, well, we're just gonna have to do this. Oop. There we go. Okay. Hello. <laughs> just snakes started falling from the sky. Oh no! Snakes from the sky. But yeah, at this point, it feels like it's my fault if I die. Uh, I don't want to die. Therefore, <laughs> therefore, I don't want to die. Um, can you endure this harsh training? I will try, Andros. <laughs> I will try, Andros. Yeah. So if if I had not had my things stolen from me. Um, by that mysterious flying, uh, goblin? <laughs> Bandit? I don't know what you'd call it. Um, this would be kind of pointless, because I already have the treasures. And, or, or is this the, is this the power-up? This may be a power-up. If it's a power-up, then it is still worthwhile. But if it was just the treasure, then, yeah, there's no point to it. So, there you go. Get out of your, get out of your stuff. Well done, Pit! Take your pick! Yeah, okay, so... What do I not have? I don't have this. Alright, there we go. Yeah, shield back. So, super cool. Super cool. Got my shield back. Very important to have your shield. Helps a lot. They're Metroids. Deadly Metroids. Shoot Goofy Death again. It's so weird that I can just Belmont Death and just kill him like that. May I help you? We have everything. Uh, yeah, but I, I don't have anything. I don't have any hearts. Uh, you cannot help me. <laughs> I am poor. I am sorry. Metroids! There go- Well, one of them just straight up vanished. Did you see that? <laughs> one of the three Metroids was just sort of like, I'm done. I'm out of here. He's gonna shoot me with arrows. There must be ice arrows, because I can't handle them. Goofy Death! Hello, Goofy Death. See you later, Goofy Death. Oh, oh gosh. Okay. Um... 
This looks very Metroid, doesn't it? Like this platform? Super Metroid-y. Oh gosh, uh, hi. How are you? Don't come back. <laughs> it's like, please don't come back. We don't need you to come back, Mr. Barking Octopus. What do you say? Try buying from me. Uh, no. <laughs> I refuse. No, sir, I will not. I must go back outside where the barking octopi are. I'm not fond of these guys. They're kind of horrible looking. Also, I still have my shield. I, I thought it I thought it was tied to my my health, but I guess not. Slow down. Oh, there goes my bottle. Sir! Okay, jump. One thing I kind of wish was the case in this game, it, it's a little tough sometimes to figure out uh, if if the screen actually wraps around. Oh, good! A hot spring! You see? Again! The first stage didn't provide hot springs when you had much less health. Later stages give you hot springs in the middle of the level. It's so much easier. It's just a mystery to me that, like, they would make the game easier as it goes along. It's so strange. But that's how it works. And is this the end of the stage? Is this even the end of the stage? Yeah, just a hot spring right before the end of the stage. What the heck? What the heck? What the heck? What the heck is up with that? What's up with that? Yeah. Yeah. I've got more Metroids. Yeah. I'm probably just going to do the, do the entirety of the, uh, like, like everything up to the castle, because this is going by really quickly, again, because it's easier. I know I've said that a lot, and I know I've also died a lot in this stage, but it is easier. It's so odd. And there are Metroids. Just saying. There are Metroids. Eh. I, I died. I died for that liar. It was very important to me. <laughs> very important for me to that entirely pointless item and then die. Y'all need to know that. <laughs> you needed to know about that one particular item. Super valuable. Super valuable. Alright. 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 And I think the next stage is actually the one where, um... The, like, the ally angels, like, the little, the little other soldier angels, aren't particularly useful. I think that's the next stage, so. This is just kind of moving platform, the stage, so far. Herp. 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 Kind of feels like ice climbers, doesn't it? Doesn't something about this feel like ice climbers? So all these platforms going back and forth, and they kind of look like ice, and I'm climbing them. Ice climbers. Huh. All right, you. Uh, hop, 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 tip, tap, tip, tap. These guys are back. Could do without them. I don't need them in my life. Oh, what do you say? Try buying from me. Uh, no, it's too expensive. No, thank you. Uh, do, what do I have? Oh, I don't have any barrels or or bottles. No barrels or bottles. I have neither a barrel to store my alien nor a bottle to store it either. Nothing. Nothing in which to store my delicious fluids. That sounds gross. I wish I hadn't put it that way. Let's just ignore that and walk upon the clouds and these very Norfairy looking platforms. They're so Norfairy. They sort of look like bubbles that are half filled with some sort of fluid. Some sort of delicious fluid, perhaps cherry soda, who knows? Who can say for sure what the Norfairy platforms are, are filled with? Also, we're walking on these delicious popcorn clouds that look lovely. Lovely! Alright, let's keep on going up. There's good. Oh! I'm alive. Okay. That was a gimme. I, I don't even know what. Something caught my head, I think. I think it bumped my head to the ceiling, maybe? These are very non-aggressive enemies, though. Like, the little... Come on. Oh, gosh. No, Goofy Death. Uh, uh, get out of here. I'm gonna Belmont you. <laughs> Go away, Goofy Death. I'm gonna Belmont you. No, not you again. <laughs> Freaky singing octopi. No. I say thee nay. Get thee hence. Uh, more Metroids. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's- I mean, maybe it's just me. Maybe as you're watching this, you think, well, this game doesn't look that much easier now that he's on a higher level. Maybe you can only really uh, detect it if you're playing, but it- 
It just plays so much easier. Hello! No, I, I really don't need any of these things. I, well, I need the I need them, I need the bottle, but... Is that it? And that's it! That's stage 3-3 three, three done! Okay, so, and, and good times, right? That was about 15 minutes, so... Power up! In the next episode, uh, we will take on... The final castle. I think it's the final castle, so I hope you'll catch up, come back and join me for that. I am the Moy Chicken, this is Kid Icarus. As always, thanks for stopping by! Oh no, I'm going down, I didn't mean to. Oh no! Wait, wizards! No!